Hello everyone. In this chapter, we are going to talk about branches. So as we talked about in previous chapter, a Git repository is made of uh, basically four objects, blob, tree, commit, and tags. So whenever we create any file or we do any changes, a blob is created. On the directory level, we have the tree and commit uh, is an object which gives the information of files as well as the tree and some other metadata. And then we talked about how various commit meets together and create a git history. Okay, so this commit is pointing to the previous commit. This commit is pointing to this commit. So this particular commit is the parent of this commit, and this commit is a parent of this commit. Any commit represent a snapshot of the repository. Instead of saying a commit, we can call it as a current snapshot of your repository. Okay, so once we talked about that so whenever we create a git git repository and there is a lot of commit a default branch is created which is known as master branch okay. what is the branch branch basically pointer to a commit for the example in this diagram master is pointing to f30 ab so we are currently on a master branch so when we when we say we are on the master branch it means uh, our branch is having three commits and the changes done in those three commits okay it's possible that like uh, we create a branch we create another commit and we create a, another pointer which is pointing to that part particular commit for the example in this video in this for the example in this repository here master is pointing to f30 ab and testing is pointing to C2BE. So basically, testing has become a, another branch which is having this four commit, and master has uh, is a, another branch which is having three commits. So testing branch has been created from the master branch. So when we are talking about master, it will be having all the changes done in the master as well as it will be having the changes extra changes done in this particular commit and then we talked about head and head is a special pointer which will be pointing to your current branch so there are two branches right master and testing how do we know that we are on the master branch or testing branch so head will give that information so if we keep working and at a time we will be on a uh, at a time we will be on one branch we might be a master branch or testing so let me go to let me go to my current repository which was stitching git if i run git branch command you will see that showing star and master so it is showing me that a master is uh, currently i'm on a master branch and this star denote on which branch you are currently so if I do git branch minus a, it will list all the branches available in my repository. So it's showing me master and then it's showing me remote origin master. So as I as we uh, master is nothing is just a pointer to do a current commit pointer to a commit in the same way remote origin master is pointer to a commit which is keeping the inf which is keeping the information of remote repository so this is pointing to the remote repository commit and ma this master is pointing to your local repository commit okay so now if i want to create a branch i can use a command known as git branch minus p and the branch name for the example uh, let me give the testing it should be git branch testing so now if i do git branch it will show me two branches master and testing okay i created the testing branch from the master so currently what will happen is the my testing pointer my testing pointer will be pointing here because i have created the branch from the master once and this star here is showing me that i am currently on the master branch then there is a command known as git checkout this git checkout command can be used from switching from one branch one branch to another branch here we have to remember one thing whatever we are doing we are doing locally in our local repository the switching from master to testing or testing to master or any other branch or creating branch is not 
affecting my remote repository i have to do git push to push uh, this branch changes or other thing so when i do git check git checkout testing it will move my branch from master to testing if for the example now if i do git branch that star has moved to testing it means now we are on the testing branch so currently testing and master both are pointing to same same commit if you see git log you will see that it's pointing to this particular commit and if i switch to master again and do git log you will see that it's pointing to this commit only so at this point of time both are point so both branches master and testing pointing to the same commit then uh, once i am on the uh, testing branch let me create another file vi testing branch.txt I'm on testing branch. So if I do git status, it will show me that I have a new file known as git branch.txt and it's taking a uh, stop uh, telling me it's an untracked file because it's in brand new file which it does not about that. And as well as uh, there was a change in text.txt which I did in master branch but I did not commit and both uh, testing and master was pointing to the same commit those changes came here so if i do git add testing branch.txt and do this status again you can see now both files has come to my staging area and then i can do the git commit minus m on testing branch so it will create a commit and will push the changes to my local git repository so if i do git log now my pointer has changed now a new commit has been created to e6b54 and my previous commit has become the child of this particular commit so now my testing branch will be pointing to this particular commit as well as my head pointer will be pointing to this particular commit and if i switch to master branch so git checkout master git checkout master and then if i do the git log you will see that master is still pointing to the previous commit which from which we created the testing branch this is how git works uh, if we will keep working in testing branch so more and more commit will be created and now if i do some work in master branch then a new commit will be created and my and my branch will be diverted okay so my master branch and testing branch will be diverted and this will be the common commit for both the branches so all the changes done till here will be common to testing as well as the master and then changes done in master and testing will be different and if you want to get the changes of both then we have to merge it thank you very much